Hi, my name is Larry and in this episode, we're gonna talk about streaming. Now, streaming is one of the features that separated the Atom Mini Pro from Atom Mini. With Atom Mini Pro, you can now stream without the use of any complicated streaming software because you can stream right from the unit itself. The first thing you have to do is to connect internet to your Atom Mini Pro. You can do that by connecting a direct cable coming from your internet router that goes direct to the ethernet port of your Atom Mini Pro. That's simple. But in my case, I am using my ethernet port for my software control so I can run Photoshop, so I can run the software control, and the USB-C port is already occupied because I'm also using that for my recording through SSD. So in my case, what I'll do is I'm going to use a feature of my OS called internet sharing. So how do you do that? Let's go to the software. In my system preferences, I'm going to open sharing tab. Now in my sharing tab, there are some sharing options that are available for you. And right now we are interested in internet sharing. In this part, it will ask you, okay, where do you want to share your connection? So in this case, I want to share it to that port, to my USB-C adapter for my Atom control. That's where I want to share my internet connection to. And it will also ask you about the source. And in this case, my source is my Wi-Fi. So in that, that, and then I'll click on internet sharing and I'm gonna start that. Internet sharing is now active in your setup. Let's go back to the software. In your Atom software control, you just have to go to your output tab and click on live stream. There are three different platforms that you can use it for. You can stream to Facebook, to Twitch, or to YouTube. In our case, let's say, uh, okay, let's do the YouTube thing. There are two YouTube servers available for you, so you can use the primary or secondary. So let's go with primary for now. Now the key here is actually the stream key and you can get this key from your YouTube settings. Let's go back to YouTube. I'm here in my YouTube account and I'll click this and say go live. Now once I hit that, it will open this page and let's say I want to create a stream. Let's say uh, this is a stream test. Okay, I just want this to be private because I just want to test it on my own. And yes, it's made for kids and I'll do create stream. In this case, what happened now is that YouTube has opened up my streaming setup. This is where you are really interested. You want to get the stream key. What I'll do is I'll copy this and this is something that you have to be very careful about because once someone gets hold of your stream key, they can technically use your channel to stream their content. So we're gonna blur it for our purpose. I'll just put the stream key right here and I'm gonna select different qualities. I have high, medium, or low. These are varying bit rates. Now, depending on what internet upload speed you guys have, you might want to look at the streaming bit rates that's available for you. For now, let's say you wanna do it high because I think my internet can carry that. I'll turn Turn on my display status so that I can have this right here. The next thing I have to do is just click on air. And now we are on air. That's how easy it is. We're not technically on air right now because we have to go back to our YouTube live stream page. It would take a bit of time for this to be ready because it, there's a lot of buffering happening as well in YouTube. You know that you're ready if this go live is active. So now it's active. So after 30 seconds, it's all active. You can see my video right there. 30 seconds ago and if I hit go live that will just stream my content to my YouTube channel that's how easy it is I just want to give you an idea of what's happening in our multi viewer as well in our multi viewer you will also see the bitrate and if I turn on my recording as well if I hit record it provides me the status of both my stream and my recording right there. Isn't it cool? It's so cool. It's really cool for a small Atom Mini Pro, a small Atom switcher like this. It kind of provides you a lot of possibilities, a lot of functionalities. And I'm hoping that you really love that because we do. That's it for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved it. And if there are any questions, please feel free to write us a comment right there and we'll try our best to answer you as soon as possible. Again, my name is Larry. Thank you for watching.